Hey everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Paranautical Activity. I'm recording this actually like way early because I don't think this is going up yesterday for you guys. God, this is going to be confusing. Uh, I'm recording this on Saturday. I don't think it's going up on Sunday. I think it's going to go up on Monday. And, yeah. I'm excited though. I just really want to keep playing this game, which is why I am currently playing this game more. Uh, ideally, I'm gonna... I don't know. I can't really... I don't want to record too far ahead, though there's no reason I can't. Considering the fact that, um... You know, there's not, like, anything coming out for it. There's not a um, reason that I can't have a lead time on it. I just want to keep playing, though. And I don't want my videos to be too long, though. Because I want people to actually, like, want to watch, you know, the majority of the video... So, uh, you know, I'm going to end up sticking to about one run like before. I, also, after the last episode, just because I won doesn't mean you can expect me to win consistently. I really sincerely doubt that I'm going to be winning consistently. That was just something else. I really don't know what to call that. I expected to be fighting Russell. Man, bombs against mini bosses are so much worse now. Because the mini-bosses were where bombs really shined by, like, literally killing them in one or two hits due to the fact that um, mini-bosses used to have, like, 12 million hitboxes. Like, this dude would have a hitbox on his body and then one for each of his legs. So if you got a bomb right under him, he would uh, take damage, like, eight times. Alright, made it through that, and what is this? <gasps> it's the... It, oh, no, it's the trigger finger. I just don't know how to read my <laughs> read by sight. So that increased our rate of fire. By the way, we have a grenade launcher. We shoot bombs. Didn't increase our rate of fire that much. But whatever. Oh, I like not like having to fear lava rooms until like the third or fourth floor or something. That's pretty great. All right. Get out of my face. You're not dead yet. Please, please die. By the way, bunny hopping, real good. Although, um, it'll be better once we can have the anchor. Like, as soon as Mike releases the build that has the anchor working, bunny hopping gets buffed, uh, really overpowered in conjunction with Blubber, my favorite item. And this will be great. Alright, we're fighting Dobie who seems harder for no good reason, but supposedly Mike hasn't messed with him at all. Whoa, that's not where the... Yes, it is where the elevator usually is. Never mind. Ignore what I just said about that, basically. Just gotta fire straight down and hope for the best. So far, I haven't taken damage, but... Um, I'm not hugging the wall well enough, so I really need to hope for the best with uh, any homing shots that the lectors he spawns kind of throw at me. So far, seems to be okay. Uh, anyway, after this we're going to pick up Blubber, which will lower our speed less than before, give us 6 health, but the, instead of being empty, they'll be all filled in. Uh, yeah, it's really overpowered, I'm going to be honest with you. And that is why it's my favorite item. Almost definitely. Alright, there's the Lecter. Are there any more? Yeah, there are. Wow, there are a lot of you. Come on. Great. Excellent. Alright, so we'll pick up Blubber. We'll have 12 full health. And 3 armor. I'm ready. God, this item, I didn't think it'd get so much more exciting, but it's great. And bunny hopping increases your speed, so we're pretty much normal when we're hopping. Oh, see, what was in here? Spinach? I can't afford that. I'll be able to afford it after this room, most likely. So anyway, bunny hopping needs to be like an integral part of your strategy now if you play this game as well. Just because it makes you so much, so much more agile. And it'll also 
kind of mitigate if you have uh, lowered speed from Blubber, which is the only thing that lowers your speed. So, I mean, it's totally... It's a great addition, honestly. I really like it. It adds a layer, all that good stuff. I'm going to buy spinach, because why not, right? I mean, some people think it's bad for the um, grenade launcher, but I think you're probably right if you think so. And I'm just uh, making things more fun for myself. That's not so bad, though. Like, let's just not get ahead of ourselves with how much we think it's bad, and it's not really that bad. Okay, not quite. There we go. Uh, I am looking to trade out my grenade launcher, though, because I'd rather have spinach for my thrown, like, normal consumable bombs, and I'd also rather be using, um, say, the rocket launcher. I just want to experience, uh, I want to put more of the sickle and the rocket launcher onto camera. But I don't want to use the crossbow, which was our option for swapping weapons just now. So that sucks. And we're stuck with this for now. Maybe next floor we'll pick up something good. Good, great, good. You know. Okay. One more room, or maybe more, but I think there's only going to be the one. And then we'll go to the next floor with just over $34. Yeah. Chance that we get, like, no money from this. Okay, we got some money from this. Oh, you're still alive. Okay, then. We have 14 health, because Spinach also gave us a health up, as well as throwing bombs further. Four armor and a good range grenade launcher. This is going to be pretty good. I really I do want a different weapon, though. Because not only have I given the grenade launcher plenty of exposure in the past, um, I haven't given the rocket launcher enough exposure at all, because I've only seen it like once. And uh, I haven't given the sickle enough time, because it's hard to use. It's mom's knife, basically, but hard to use. For now, at least. Of course, maybe it'll become easy as we uh, continue to play. So both of these rooms look like literally the same room. There's the Gilead I expected. And there's the other one I expected. Okay, good. Oh, I thought you'd die from that one. I didn't realize that I'd already killed the Lecter, but I'm okay with it. You know, of course, I always want the Lecters to die. Lecters must die. You know, and then I go into that song, Invaders Must Die. I don't even know how that song goes. But it's the Prodigy. Everyone's all like, oh my god, so good. So I'll just, you know, have to, have to pretend. There we go. Yeah, I don't care. I'll be doing all these rooms anyway. But I want to be in a place where I can just, like, you know, d oh, you jerk. I just want to, like, have a different weapon. And I want you to die. Okay, that should be a perfect bomb. Yes. Yes. Okay. Happy to say that. Great armor as well, because I lost one. So I needed that a little bit. Basically, the first few floors in this game currently are going to be, like, build up as much health and armor as you can so that you can just, like, deal with the fact that you're going to be losing it at a rapid pace during the end of the game. Like, the fourth and beyond floors. Nah, more like the fifth and beyond floors. Because the fourth floors, you know, it's it's got a, a sharp increase in difficulty over the third, but it's not actually that difficult. I can't believe I let that hit me. Oh, there you are. I expected there to be at least one of you. Oh, you... <sighs> Cheater. I just want to find the gift shop. This isn't it, though, as far as I can tell. Did he just, like, shoot my bomb back at me a little bit? 
I think I killed both lectures, like without even intending that. Okay, there's only one more dude. That'll kill him. Excellent. Clearing stuff out. We've got a fair amount of money, enough to get, you know, like a damage up or something, a small one. Or maybe uh, the magnet would be a great pickup. I haven't seen it in a while. Okay, well here is the gift shop. So this is the big opportunity. I haven't been bunny hopping. And I don't want to shoot my bombs at me. Because I don't want to blow myself up. Why do you guys take four hits? You used to take three, I swear. Okay, there we go. Uh, I took too much damage. Way too much damage this room. Alright. And there doesn't seem to be any armor laying around for me. But at least we found the gift shop. We're going to have somewhere around 250 bucks, which is going to help us out. Because 250 is pretty good, we can get something. Let's see what's in here, though. Rocket launcher. Yeah! Anchor. Still doesn't work, so I'm not going to get that. Obviously, I want to mess with the rocket launcher, because I haven't really. And uh, I definitely want to save up for the lightning bolt, if possible. Because that'll just get me back to at least normal speed. Whereas the blubber head lowered my speed. So I'm very inexperienced with this weapon, so we're learning together, and it's going to be cool. I didn't think that would hit. It's hard to aim this exactly the way I think I want to. There we go. Yeah, no, it's definitely going to take getting used to. But this gun, it doesn't take anything from bomb upgrades. It scales with your damage and like normal upgrades, fire rate, all that good stuff. So uh, this is going to be uh, interesting. Now we know we're not fighting Dobie, and Dobie's a bad, oh god. Dobie's a bad boss for uh, this weapon, as is freaking Russell as a mini boss. Yeah, I took six damage already. That would have killed me if I didn't have uh, Blubber and Spinach. So uh, we're going to hope for good drop here. Well, I mean, of course, we always hope for a good drop, but you know what I mean. Okay, he's doing this now. Okay, we're safe again. Okay, just one more. Great. We get the Blowfish. That's a really good drop. That adds poison damage to our shots, and that does affect the the rocket launcher here. Uh, we have three armor, but I'm going to go throughout rooms that I've already uh, completed and hunt for some health, because I know that there's some laying around, because I didn't need it until right now. So I'm definitely going to pick that up. We're probably not going to be able to uh, accumulate enough cash to get the lightning bolt, unfortunately. But we've learned that the anglerfish drops it if we get that far in the game, which I don't know if I count on. Now this is going to be a tough room to look for health in, most likely. Let's see. Well, I didn't see any. And then let's see this room. Excellent. Almost enough to get back to full. And uh, one one minus full, or one less than full is good enough for me. Especially because I'm going to complete this room just, you know, in case I can build up to 400 from just this room somehow. Which, uh, I'm going to say, I can't. But, you know, also get some more experience with the rocket launcher, which just did some poison damage to that Gilead, which is excellent. One more Jimbabwe, I believe, yep. And we get back to full health. So what more do you want? I can't say I want more. Well, I guess I want $100 more about it. Alright, let's fight the boss and see who it is. Skeleto? Nope, it's going to be... We're going to get a double jump. That's awesome. And the rocket launcher seems to do wonders for this boss fight. Especially with the poison damage. That was a really lucky drop. Okay, there we go, and the poison totally melts the little ones. So for the moment, I'm just going to focus on the big one there. 
Because those two might just kill themselves or might just let themselves die from all that poison damage. Because I think that, um, okay, never mind, I thought wrong. You need to get out of my face. Thank you. They hit me a lot of times. But, oh yeah, we get six bosses worth of drops from them, so we might actually come up to 400 bucks. If not, we're very close and it saddens me. I think we got it. So we're going to get a speed up and we're also going to, yes, we got speed and uh, fire rate up from the lightning bolt that we're going to go by, and we also get a double jump. So that was a really good floor for us. We got a good new weapon. We got a like great, great item in the double jump and a great, great item in the lightning bolt. So, oh man. With the increased fire rate, how fast do we shoot? That's reasonably fast, and then I only can get like I can get like three more fire rate ups throughout the course of the game. This is gonna be good. Uh, let's see, I don't need the health. And great, we are ready to do the next floor and see what we can accomplish. This is gonna be awesome. All right, we're only on the third floor because we only got flight, which is a first and second floor boss now, but we also have blubber which means that we've completed two floors. And, well, that means that there's plenty of time for us to get way more stuff. Ah, oh, there you are. Wow. There we go. <laughs> Took me long enough. Let's see what's in the gift shop this time. Once I see if uh, there's any stuff laying around that I want to pick up, doesn't look like it. Gift shop. Hey, it's the flip-flops. They're only 150. And um, I definitely want them more than I want scissors or poison bombs. Because poison bombs, yes, they're useful, don't get me wrong, but I already have poison on this beautiful piece of machinery. That was unfortunate damage, and that, that was more unfortunate damage. There we go. Yeah, we took a bunch of damage in that room. But I don't think there's health laying around, considering how little of this floor we've messed with already. But we already found all of the uh, special rooms. So I'm going to fight the mini-boss first, of course. Because I want whatever drop. I expected it to be Russell, honestly. Because Russell is in the pool twice now. The mini-boss pool, that is. Because there were too many floors and not enough mini-bosses. Because I think there's there might be one unimplemented currently. So, uh... Mike needed to put something in to fill that space, and uh, his favorite was Russell. So Russell it was. But this run, I'm not doing that well. Okay, what do we get? Armor box, that's good. We only got two armor from it. It is random, and I think two is the lowest. But there's a little bit of health. Very little bit, but we're almost at, you know, technically full. Almost have enough for the flip-flops, which would uh, negate lava damage and possibly acid as well. Alright, it's Hans. Uh, this is going to be interesting. Because I don't feel like incredibly fast, I feel reasonably fast. Uh, if I bunny hop, I'm getting away though. Just make sure not to shoot him and rather shoot the ground near him. So that, yeah, so that that doesn't happen. And this is going well. We'll get Hans's coat, which is going to be um, plus two health and maybe five free armor. Four free armor. <laughs> but his uh, his health up doesn't actually fill it. Still, we do have a lot of health now. Not enough money to get the flip-flops yet, but we will. Trust me. It's the first time I've actually seen the flip-flops at all in my playtime of the update. And, uh, you know, I've gotten like three, four hours in it already. Yeah, more like four hours in this update, and this is the first time I've seen the flip-flops. Oh god, you jump. You jump far sometimes. Okay. Everything is safe now. Delightful. That puts us in enough money. So that's going to be, even though I don't know if there are lava rooms, I'm just going to get them right away. Like, I don't know if they've started yet to exist. But, you know, I want it. It's one of those things. You just gotta get everything at least once. 
And then I'm just going to complete the four floor to build up some funds. Alright, the flip-flops. They're made of asbestos. So they're really, they're great for you, but they're also... Uh, they're not great at the same time because asbestos. I thought they were actually called asbestos flip-flops. But as it turns out, they're just the flip-flops. Oh god! Okay, you die, you die. Oh, the other one didn't die. I made a huge mistake. Okay, now we're good. Let's just kill this Gilead. Let's aim a little better at him. Perfect. Alright, now we just gotta collect money. And that's really the only reason I'm completing a floor, because I've already found the three special rooms. No, oh, excuse me. I had pancakes. They were delicious. Just gonna let you know. Alright, there you are. I'm just gonna do this first. Oh man, I didn't think I'd have to take damage there, but at least I still have 21 health. Which is good. Oh god! I think he blew up. Yeah, he killed himself. It's delightful. Come on, come on. Perfect. Everything is clear. Now I just look for any hidden drops that I don't think exist. Was that room really so, like, lacking in bounty? That sucks. Come on. Perfect. I'm a fan of the rocket launcher. It's... You know, I'm gonna get used to it a little bit, but I'm a fan. I thought I got a direct hit on that lector for a second. There's something left? What's still alive? There must be a jumpy dude. No, stop. Stop. You're not supposed to make it. That was scary. He was getting out of his purgatory. And he would have killed me. Not really, because I have a lot of health. I'm definitely well well prepared for the later floors. Uh, or I will be once I pick up a few more items. But like I'm, I've got a foundation for well preparedness. Why? Why? You cheater. Oh, 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 it was some homing shots. You jerk. That's not it. Who's left? There you are. I would like to be collecting a little more armor. I would love that uh, armor lover item thing. That would be great. Okay. This is the door. This room again. Oh god. I don't know how I didn't get hit. I don't know what I was shooting at there. But apparently I hit the second Gilead, so get on my meta level that I didn't even know I was on. Did that kill it? Yes, but something's... Oh god, you're alive. Now nothing's alive. And we're back up to 5 armor. As we collect some cash. 173 is not bad. Not at all. 183 now. Yeah, cool. Alright then. Let's get on our way to the next floor. Fourth floor, so we're going to see a sudden spike in difficulty. Wow, Mike said that he beat the freaking whole game by this time. Like, if this were his video, he would have won by now. That's really ridiculous. I just want to put that out there. Alright, there's only one way to go. Okay, so we've got a bunch of Scorches. So I just need to lure them all at me. And then... Oh no! No, no! Uh, scorches, like, drop a million, million, million things. So we took two damage in that room, but I think they dropped at least two armor. Going even's better than going negative, always. Yeah, we went positive. Um, rocket launcher is probably not my ideal way of dealing with the scorches, but it's what we have. 
to it's in the shop. Adderall increases our speed by a multiplier. Horseshoe increases our drops. I'm just going to get Adderall because we've already gotten one speed up. And uh, any speed up we can get is probably useful at least a little bit. Let's fight this mini boss. It's this dude. Yeah, that's cool. Okay, let's kill the Gilead now. That should do it. And let's get you. Now I can kill you. And then there's the boss already. Um, I don't know. <clears throat> I do want to build up enough to get the horseshoe. Because the horseshoe is very good. Well, none of those made it out. Oh, sweet, the armor priority thing. So that makes it more likely that something drops armor and less likely that it drops hearts. Which is totally okay because I have a lot of health and uh, a reasonable amount of armor so I can hold off for now. Poseidon. Mike said he can do this without taking any damage. I don't know how, but, you know, I'm gonna be trying. Apparently the um, blowfish shut down, they stop homing if they've gotten close to you. So, um, you don't even know how intense this is right now. Uh, I need to figure out a way to get close to them without having them kill me. Yeah, this is... Die. Ah, whatever. But see, I can't... He only drops the trident too, and I don't have the magnet, so it's not really worth picking up. You know, with the magnet, the trident's really busted. Like, super overpowered kind of levels. Because the magnet just brings it back immediately. Uh, once it's actually hit like the ground or whatever. So it's really good together. Better than the sickle because the trident has way more damage. But I don't have the magnet. And it's not even on the floor. Oh, we have enough for the horseshoe. And uh, paired... Oh god! I didn't know he was still alive. Uh, paired with the armor priority thing... That's going to be really valuable because it just means more drops means more armor because more stuff drops armor. Uh, it's going to be a match made in heaven. <clears throat> so let's pick that up. And then let's just... Uh, st oh god! Alright, Scorches. Stay away. Calm down. Yeah, that's, that's all you can ask for. Uh, but still, I took a hit and made back like almost all of my money already scorches when you have the horseshoe are incredible you get so many drops okay uh, this room is a pretty common room for the fourth floor honestly but it's um it's filled with enemies it's not a simple room by any stretch of the imagination oh no don't do that we can't afford to do that But hopefully the horseshoe has done us well. And the armor priority thing. Shield lover, maybe it's called? Yeah, I don't know. This is going something. Okay. Just gotta be careful with how you place your shots with the rocket launcher. I wanna make it to the final boss using the rocket launcher. That would be cool. Because it's uh, apparently really good against uh, that little girl. Oh, okay. That was great. Everyone's dead. I'm glad they're dead. But unfortunately, um, I'm kind of running out of armor here. And health. Oh, there's everyone. Okay, now they're all dead. That's good. Haven't seen this room yet. Uh, there's one more lector, and that's it, right? Yes. Yes, it is. Oh, man. It's, this game is fun and much more challenging now. Because, I mean, before this game, it was pretty easy. I was to the point where I was winning every video. And, you know, whatever. It was still fun. It's just now it's like... It's, it's fun fun. 
because it's got challenge. Some real challenge. Because there's also, there's just the whole thing where it's actually a dynamic experience now. You won't get the same items every time. Not by any, you know. You just won't. Because they're, they're, you can't fight all the bosses guaranteed. You only fight two of the three bosses per pair of floors. So you miss out on some things like you can miss out on Blubber, which is travesty, I must say. Okay, no Scorches this time. Yeah, you thought you'd have me. Oh, you stupid Lecter. Alright, Lecter's dead. Perfect. That's how you deal with Gileads, really. You just kind of strafe to the sides. Well, that's kind of what strafing is. But you just try to circle them. If there are two, it's all about changing your height. Alright, 300. That's, that's a bunch of money. Almost 400. So this is the same room. We can deal with this. Okay, there's some armor. That's great. Oh, I got hit. Can't afford that. Okay, that'll deal with you. That dealt with you. I didn't expect it to, but it did. And this will do it. Great. So we finished off this floor. Uh, we didn't really come out very far ahead. Besides monetarily. As far as money is concerned and bombs, we're doing incredibly. But I haven't gotten, like, a single damage up. I would really love to run into rum or something. I would also love to run into the magnet. Um, Kiss of Death, Banshee Scream. We're entering the fifth floor, so we've got the pallet swap now. Let's just see if we can find um, any of the special rooms immediately. I don't see them. This room may have acid, but I'm not threatened because I have the flip-flops. There's the gift shop, which is great because we have tons of money. And one thing I've noticed is as you, like, complete the game, you end up with but tons of money. Like, I've seen that in another, um, someone had a screenshot or something, and they had, like, $1,400 by the final boss. And, uh, that's just totally a new thing. Alright, I don't think anything dropped in the acid, but we are immune. Thanks to the flip-flops. You know, it makes us cool. Oh yeah, some stuff did drop. Hope for the magnet. Magnet, magnet, magnet. It's really cheap. We didn't get it. We could get the shotgun. Definitely want the spring. And I guess I might as well take gum. Uh, I'm cool sticking with this weapon, though. Definitely a good weapon. I hate the monkeys. I hate you. But at least I have the immunity to uh, the stuff. Alright, you die. D d Direct hit on the lector, like a boss. No, no, stop! You're terrifying. Okay, thank you. Uh, what's alive? Probably one of the explodey dudes on the floor or something, yeah. Well, this floor? Difficult. I don't know if we're going to win this time like we did previously. I would like to, but hey. By the way, with the spring and the double jump, we can jump really, really high. Because we can jump really high, and then we can jump really high again. Which is great. I love the flip-flops, though. They are the bomb. We already bought out the shop, pretty much. Okay, good, good. Handling this well so far. Yep, that that is how you handle this room. I'm just gonna put that out there. Perfect. That was really well done. Uh, I would like a little more health though and armor because I'm supposed to be getting more armor drops and less health drops. I'm definitely getting less health drops, but uh, they're not getting compensated. So that kind of sucks. And see, this this doesn't work the same as the Miter and Isaac, because it lowers the chance of health drops, because they're separate things rather than determined by the same variable. So, um, you know, we're in we're in dire straits in some ways. 
Alright, easy room. Health. Always, always good. Back to full. And we got some good money. We're on floor five, there's seven. Alright, I hate you monkeys. Okay, come on, come on, get uh, unstuck. Oh man. See, this is when you really want the magnet. Because, like, getting all the stuff from this room is going to be annoying. Perfect hit. That's exactly what I wanted to happen. Alright, there's at least a little bit of armor. As in, at least one. Two. There are at least two. Alright, let's wait for that. I have finally gotten hit by the axe, but... Again, they only do like one damage, I think. That's what Mike said, so I assume he didn't change them uh, since I last asked. But you never know. Stupid monkey jerk. That was a simple room, and yet I still took damage. Simple room compared to some of the others I've had to do. Um, there's the mini boss. Which is always something worth dealing with. And I mean, I'd probably leave once I found the boss, if I'd ever find the boss. Um, I think I lost a monkey that's supposed to still exist. We'll see in a moment, I guess. No? No, I killed it, apparently. We're building up a little bit of armor again. Uh, this run's gonna be longer than... Well, potentially longer than the last video, just because I'm being more thorough. Like before, I think on this floor, I just I ran and finished as fast as possible, as opposed to exploring so much. And then on the next two floors, I just like boss rushed. Okay, that has acid, but I'm gonna deal with the mini boss first. All right, blood moth. That's totally dealable with. But I just I want to kill the lectors first. Lectors will drop more armor. Oh god! Lectors drop armor. So we have uh, the potential to build up some good armor resources in this room. And now we can finally kill the Blood Moth, since I have dealt with all of its Lector henchmen. Man, I can't imagine how overpowered the rocket launcher would be when bomb things damaged like all of the hitboxes of things. I assume that this uh, boss had the torso and then four wing hitboxes, but I could be wrong. What do we get? Is that a mystery box or is that a health box? If it's a health box, I'm a little mad. It's a health box. I'm a little mad. Because that's not very useful to me. Right. We did get a bunch of armor from it, though. Okay. Yeah, that was a big, big rocket. I'm okay with all these Gileads, honestly. Hey, except when they hit me. I'm not supposed to be getting hit. Alright, that did it. Now I just gotta collect our bounty. As always, we have... See, we have $630 right now. It just builds up, and then suddenly you've got a lot of it. Because the shops, they haven't been particularly helpful. And unfortunately, we still haven't gotten the magnet. Which, I mean, I guess I can't count on at all. Alright, so this way doesn't lead anywhere, but I'm going to do it because I can. Alright, that's one monkey dead. I don't know if that's both monkeys dead. No, it's not. Now it is. I really like the flip-flops. They are a good item at a great price. i got to really iterate that so you all understand that you should pick them up if you ever have the opportunity. Okay. We are at 25 health. That can change very quickly. Because we saw against Poseidon I lost 6 health immediately. Um, that... You know, I wouldn't put it past the anglerfish as well. Because it also spawns those crazy, um, homing blowfish. Which suck. And I hate. That did it? Yeah, okay. 
So we'll see who we fight here. Uh, we're already past the point of the octopus, I think, because I think that's a boss and not a mini boss, but I could be wrong. Still, let's uh, see if it's the anglerfish. Yes. All right. Again, the poison is really, really essential here because it keeps it glowing. So um, that's going to change everything for us. Yeah, the homing blowfish are the worst part of any boss. But Mike's got them figured out, so I will one day figure them out. Oh, I thought I'd get, get away from that one. Okay, we made it through that. And we'll get the lightning bolt, but we already have it, so instead we could get the sickle. I'm going to stick with the rocket launcher for sure. And get out of here. We lost only two health. That's much better. Well, we lost like three and then got one back. But only losing two is much better than it could have been. Alright, I'm going to go this way because I see a door and it doesn't look like the hardest room that's ever existed. Alright. Scorches uh, and some lectors. You know, that's okay. Yeah, we handled that room pretty well. If only we had the magnet. So that's what, I mean, really, please have it in the shop that I think I'm going to go to. Because this time I'm exploring a lot more. I see the shop through there, as far as I could tell. I guess I didn't see the shop. I don't know what I saw then. Let's look through here. Doesn't look like it. Let's go this way. Oh, God. I thought I would have done more damage to it. As in, like, at all. All right, you bomb dudes, great. If we can uh, get through most rooms taking one or no damage, that's totally cool with me. That would make this very manageable, especially if we recover some of it due to our armor priority thing. And um, there's the gift shop. So I did see it like I thought I did. Uh, but anyway, thanks to our armor priority and horseshoe, which has clearly paid for itself. Oh my god! God, like 20 monkeys that I killed all at once. Alright, that's everyone. Delightful. And uh, with the flip-flops, I can actually pick up this great stuff. I love the flip-flops. Oh, we also found the boss and the mini-boss. This is pretty clutch. I might just leave this floor then. But yeah, this run's already running into the same territory lengthwise as the previous one. Uh, we're definitely taking rum. Uh, we may as well take poison bombs and the powder keg just because we've got so much money. Like, we can still afford anything else in the shop, pretty much. So, uh, poison bombs and the powder keg don't affect the rocket launcher, but they affect our bombs that we have 48 of. So we do more damage when we do poison damage with the bombs. Uh, that's great. Bomb box. Wasn't the most useful of pickups, but whatever. Yeah, still, that's not the magnet, but hey, whatever. And uh, Rum gave us more speed, damage, and fire rate, as well as lowering our health by three, but that's okay. Uh, Banshee Scream's going to be great, because that's going to increase our damage. And I think we're going to be okay for the final boss on the next floor. We also have Gum, I believe, so um, our bombs are very effective. We don't have Skeleto's Skull, for you know, because, like I said, you don't actually, just by playing, get all of the boss items in every run. Uh, why not use a bomb? Yeah, bombs do pretty good damage, I must say. Again, let's not use too many. We do have spinach, though, I believe. Yeah, that worked. <laughs> okay, come on, let's go. Everything's handled there. Uh, Banshee Scream will scale well with our current rocket launcher. Let's get out of here. I did have to explore more, so don't get on my case about that too much. Okay, that's not a boss or special. That's not a boss or special. I mean, they could be. I just can't see them. All right, let's go this way. Oh, God. Get unstuck. I remember the final boss is really difficult. Like, don't even think for a second that it's going to be easy. But with the rocket launcher, we're going to have a much better time. 
than we did with um, Gilead's gun for sure. Gilead's gun, really one of the worst weapons for that fight, I would have to imagine. By the way, that was a new enemy right there, that like Nazi thing, it rolled around and stuff. Now I do want to find the boss as quickly as possible. Because, uh, you know, I'm definitely starting to dwindle on health and stuff. But Mike beat the boss having only like four health going in. And since all the bosses and stuff will drop normal rates of boss stuff, that kind of keeps you alive. Um, yeah, Mike said he did it with four health. I did it with like six. Or eight or something. Uh, I would like to not have to do it with much less than I have now. Ah, man. Let's fight the mini-boss because we're here. Mini-bosses are probably easier than the rooms at this point, honestly. And we'll get an item for it. Hopefully a good one. I'd even be okay with an armor box, though. It's probably hopefully Russell again. It might have to be, actually. I think it has to be Russell again. No, it's this dude. Wow, that did a lot of damage. And we found the, sh the shop as well. Gift shop will get us something nice. Hopefully. Alright, you died. Mystery box. Bombs. Well, we have 60 bombs for the final boss fight if we find it ever. 600 bucks. What can we buy? Magnet, absolutely. Armor box, because why not? And bomb box, because why not? It's the last shop. So the magnet will attract all of the pickups in the room, like, right away, which is awesome. Uh, let's just keep going. This looks fine. Uh, but that saves us a million seconds at a time. Oh, that was nice. Uh, okay, you just die at any point in time you would like. I wonder if he has invincibility during his roll frames. You're a jerk. There we go. Oh god, that was kind of scary. Alright. I hate the monkey things. So much. Come on, keep going. See, now we don't have to worry about taking the time to collect anything. All the armor and health and stuff will just fly right to us. We don't have to worry about um, running into harm's way, like in the, the middle of those um, axes to collect stuff. I guess we do sometimes, because I guess uh, things have to drop within your sphere of collection. Potentially. I think this room is... Oh, wow. Blow up, dude. Ah, whatever. Let's get out of here. You know, we're just... We're losing the war of attrition right now. Which isn't good, but, you know, we're gonna make this happen. And this is starting to look like two in a row for wins, and, like, with our setup, we're, we're in a good place. Like, that's for sure. Is there another dude? No, there's not. Alright, here is the boss. Alright, let's kill some Gileads. Oh wow, with the Banshee Scream, we might two-shot them. Sorry, this is pretty intense. Okay, that's everyone. Let's get out of here. Let's do this. 13 health, 14 health total. The more damage we can do to it, the better as fast as possible. Uh, we have a great setup for the spiders. Like, they're going to be no problem, literally. Um, Skeletos probably won't be too hard. And the boss drops of those um, things that we got, the armor, etc. Pretty clutch. Again, may as well totally unload. 
Sorry if this is lagging a little bit. Maybe we don't have gum. Alright, that's that. We're two for two in the new update. And I'm really good. That one was longer, like I said. But wow. So that's going to do it for today. I'm going to just spam some bombs, kill myself. Because that's just kind of what you do. Come on. Is this a joke? Really? I like how each time makes the things go over themselves. Oh god, I'm lagging it so bad. <laughs> that was beautiful. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Uh, I didn't expect to win again, but I did. I guess I'm just really good at this game. Um, hi Mike, if you're still watching. Thanks for watching everyone, and I'll see you next time.